Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast here in 2022. I'm going to make a bit of a prediction. And that is that we're all going to see more and more examples of walkout technology. And you may have already seen this on the internet or even visited one of the Amazon Go stores where you literally walk in, put your stuff in a basket, walk out without scanning it or completing a checkout process, handing your card details over or getting that dreaded unidentified item in the checkout area. (laughs) Everything just happens automatically, zero friction. So I think in the same way that we used to feel weird getting out of an Uber without handing over cash, we're going to be getting that feeling all over again, but this time in retail. And as walkout technology becomes more popular, I think all stores will quickly want to hop on board to offer that same experience. But what is walkout technology? How is the landscape changing in traditional brick and mortar shops to be more tech inclusive? Well, Buckle up and hold on tight because I'm going to beam your ears all the way to Germany where Asaf Gedalia from Walkout is currently there on a business meeting. So we've grabbed hold of him in between back-to-back meetings so he can share his story with us. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, hi. My name is I'm from Israel. I'm the CEO and one of the founders of Walkout. Walkout is a frictionless shopping platform for physical stores. We allow the shopper to um, enter a store, grab any item they want, and simply walk out, basically eliminating the checkout. And we also allow the retailers and brands to build a relationship with the shoppers, communicating with them in a personalized way on a large touch screen. I'm a computer and electrical engineer working in the Israeli high-tech industry I'm in a computer vision space for over a decade. And three years ago, I started Walkout with two very good friends of mine from the university, Tom Rafael and Ben Pshadetsky. Well, it's such an exciting space to be in at the moment, and especially around contactless convenience and low-touch economy, et cetera. But I want to take you way, way back here. Can you tell me a little bit more about your origin story and, and where your passion for technology came from and what it was that put you on this path that you're on, Ron? Yeah, so I guess I was born with a passion for tech. How yeah. in every family, there's the go-to guy to fix stuff if your computer breaks or if you need this, something installed or something fixed. Yeah. I guess I've, I'm that guy in my family, and it's been me from a very young age. So I guess I was destined to be an engineer in my family. After my degree, I started my career in tech. I felt a very strong entrepreneurial spirit. In my previous company I worked for, I always strive to learn, to improve. I moved up relatively quickly. My last position, I managed a large group there with teams across the world in India, in Israel, and in Italy. And before starting Walkout, it was clear to me that my next role will be strategic and commercial, of course, while staying in the tech world. I love that. And I was one of those go-to guys as well of the family. You never know when the phone's going to go. And of course, it was that path that led you to becoming the CEO at Walkout, which is, as you said a few moments ago, a developer of an autonomous end-to-end checkout platform that's created this smart cart solution to provide efficient, frictionless checkouts. But can you just set the scene and, and introduce the listeners to what you do and the kind of problems that you set out to solve with Walkout? Yeah, sure. So Walkout basically redefines how a shopper would interact in a physical store. First, we eliminate the most painful part of the shopping process, which is the checkout, but we do much more than that. Walkout allows the retailer or the brand to build a relationship with the shopper. Today, a shopper in a supermarket will spend anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes in the store, but nobody knows you unless until you get to the checkout. So We want to help the uh, retailers build a personalized shopping journey for each and every shopper based on their history and habits. So imagine, for example, you'd walk into a store, you grab a walkout powered cart. Perhaps you'll do a login to get the most out of the system. 
And now every item you toss in the cart is captured by our computer vision algorithms and it presented on the screen. You can get relevant promotions and suggestions just for you based on your preferences. And when you're done, you simply exit the store. I love that. And although we are coming towards the, well, we thought we we're coming towards the end of the pandemic, as we record this podcast today, all across Europe, there are tighter restrictions and, and lighter lockdowns put in, being put into place. I'm curious, how is the landscape changing in traditional brick and mortar shops now? And are, are they really becoming more tech inclusive as a, as a result of this almost new world we find ourselves in? Yeah, definitely. Retailers are becoming much more tech oriented because of the pandemic, as you mentioned, but because of other things as well. There, there's a fierce competition today on the shopper's heart and retailers are improving the in-store ex- experiences. And we're seeing that across the world. They're also improving their backend systems to make everything more efficient, remain profitable in such a, a low margin. We're, in Israel, we're working with a large chain called Mahsane Ashuk one of the leading um, retailers in Israel. We're implementing our solution throughout their chain and they've expressed their will to modernize the store, to improve the shopping journey throughout the store, throughout all their stores. And we're seeing these, these needs from retailers across the world. And why do you think smart carts are the best integration for shops? And what do you think are the the benefits of in-store shopping compared to online delivery and even Amazon Go? Because one of the things that really stands out for me is there was a quote by an IBM chief. This must have been about 10 years ago. And she, she said something along the lines of that the last great experience you have anywhere becomes the future expectation for you want everywhere. And I would imagine if somebody has been to one of those Amazon Go kind of stores, that will become a standard expectation. And very, very quickly, other shops are going to have to to live up to that expectation. But is that something that you're seeing? Yeah, so that's actually a great quote. I love it a lot. Looking at the industry, I think that First of all, comparing to online and offline, buying in the physical store is still the dominant way to shop and will remain so in the physical and the foreseeable future. People are actually now excited about the possibility to go back into a store after two years of being locked down in their home. In a physical store, you can touch and sense and feel and get inspired. You can get help from associate. So we're seeing actually that the stores are becoming stronger in the past few months. When if we compare smart carts, including walkout solution to Amazon Go-like solutions, I think one of the main differentiators here is the ease of integration, the scalability in a very cost-effective solution. But as I mentioned, it's also about creating a relationship with the shopper, this digital interactive experience that you can have on a screen that's in front of the shoppers throughout the shopping journey. This is also a very big benefit of smart cards. And there's um, a privacy concern that we're hearing from some retailers. For us, shoppers' privacy is very important. We don't fill them. We don't record their behavior. So it's a bit more private as well. And that is such a good point you raise there, because from a consumer's point of view, we just love the fact that we'll be able to walk in somewhere and walk out, eliminate the friction. Everything is amazing. But for behind the scenes, business leaders and IT directors are going to want to take a look under the hood and, and learn more about how private it actually is and what kind of blowback they could get from that. And also the kind of... Int- in- intricacies of different proprietary algorithms and the tech behind the accuracy rate on the product identification that's the the meat and bones that the techies will be interested in so for any retailers tech teams that might be listening today can you just expand on some of those intricacies yeah happy to so being very very accurate is a very important aspect of our solution if the system isn't accurate enough if it doesn't capture everything you grab it'll either bother the shopper with continuously needing um, your help and also for the store it means they lose money because when an item is missed or misidentified they might lose money so that's really a no go for the chains i mean that's the first thing they evaluate us on so in the past 3 years we've been developing the most accurate computer vision and machine learning algorithms in the space today. We have multiple cameras on our cart that cover the entire um, cart space with redundancy. So even if you toss a very small item or partially cover it, the product or a camera, everything is still captured with above 99% accuracy across thousands of products in real time in the store, even very similar items. And all that we do 
with a single sensor approach. We only um, add cameras to existing cards. We don't put a scale because we want to keep the system very cost effective and low maintenance. And I was also reading that the technology can also help prevent health risks for shoppers. It, is that something you can expand on as well, just for people that might be hearing about you for the first time? Because I think we a lot of people hear about they just walk out and go tech, but not necessarily think anything about the health risk side of things. Yeah, so we allow shoppers to enter into the system, their allergies, their diet restrictions. They can create personalized, personal profiles, connecting online with offline, what's called um, omni-channel today. And our solution can alert shoppers when a product is either dangerous or goes against any of their restrictions or, or uh, preferences. And I recently wrote an article on walkout technology and how it's affecting retailers and, and also how decreasing the friction of buying groceries could actually set that new standard of expectation for every future experience, like that quote I mentioned a few moments ago, and eventually prompt every other store to do the same in a bid to, to win our attention as consumers. But I'm curious, is this how you're seeing things evolving and how do you see walkout tech continuing to grow in 2022 because it's fairly limited at the moment but i think it's going to be one of those things that become more and more commonplace from my side but but what are you seeing yeah exactly i completely agree i read the article it was uh, very interesting it doesn't make sense that in 2021 you'd need to scan items and wait in the shopping and the and the checkout lines when we see this gradually changes many store are piloting frictionless solutions in 2021 and 2022 and uh, we expect them to deploy many more stores in subsequent years. We actually expect hundreds of these frictionless stores deployments in 2022 and thousands of them in 2023. Definitely, uh, we see the future as uh, frictionless. So what's next for you and Walkout? What's going to be your big focus? So today we're focusing mostly on expanding through Europe. And in 2022, we intend to shift our focus to the U.S., we already have a few initial partners that we're deploying there. And of course, we'll want to add more solutions and bring more value to our customers. Well, I wish you the best of luck throughout the year. And I'd love to get you on towards the end of the year and see how things are evolving. But before I let you go, it's time to come full circle now. We began talking about your origin story, being the go-to tech guy for your family. But I'm now going to ask, what has been the soundtrack to your career in tech? Is there one piece of music that is a... Uh, accompanied you on your journey or or just helps you get your head in the zone? Yeah, so great question. Music is um, always changing. So I can't say I have one song throughout my career, but my song that brings me a lot of energy in the past um, couple of weeks is called um, Summer Night. It's by Garden City Movement featuring Lola Marsh. It has a great rhythm to it, really brings energy. Love that. Great choice. Not to be confused with Summer Nights but from the Grease soundtrack. I wondered where you were going there when you said Summer Nights, but I think that's a much better choice. <laughs> I get that added to the uh, Spotify playlist. And for anyone listening wanting to find out more information about Walkout, maybe browse some videos of it in action or maybe even contact your team. What's the best starting point? Yeah, so our website is www.walkout.co. Um, and we have an email address at uh, info at walkout.co. I think that's the best place to reach out. Well, I think this year is going to be incredibly exciting for consumers to be able to just walk out of a, a grocery store or any store and everything paid and taken care of. And it'll feel weird to begin with in some ways where it still feels a little bit weird when you get out an Uber without parting with any cash. But I think it will gather pace much quicker than many people realise. And also for coming on and explaining the intricacies of those different algorithms that Walkout has developed in order to reach that 99.2% accuracy on product identification and anything that can finally remove unidentified item in the baggage area is a big win from me so thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story today thank you neil it was a great pleasure apart from the obvious around walkout technology i also loved hearing about how technology can help with preventing health risks for shoppers around allergies and diets when they are putting things in their baskets and also why smart carts are the best integration for a shop and the benefits of in-store shopping compared to online and offline and delivery and even Amazon Go. There's so much going on there. But I think 
what really brought it to life for me was also discussing what goes on under the hood. Letting us all take a peek behind the curtain and discussing the intricacies of the different proprietary algorithms that Walkout has actually developed and enabled them to create this 99.2% accuracy rate on product identification. But over to you, where do you see Walkout technology heading this year and beyond? Email me, techblogwriteroutlook.com. My website is techblogwriter.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts. And it's the beginning of the year. Why not give me a few predictions of your own and we'll share them on this show. I'll wait patiently for those. And while I am, I'm going to prepare tomorrow's guest for you too. So thank you for listening as always. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.